Hello doctors and welcome to today's program. What I want to talk a little bit about today is digital motion x-ray, DMX. There's a lot of information in the market, mostly produced by the providers that have DMX units. So let's talk about what a DMX is. First of all, DMX is a secondary imaging tool. It's not a primary imaging tool. It's a tool usually used by chiropractors and it's usually used only in the neck simply because the output of the, the machine that does the images is not significant enough to image good the lumbar spine. So with DMX, it does nothing for somebody who has chronic low back pain, which by the way is the number one cause of chronic pain and disability in the world today are ligament injuries to the lumbar spine, of which, which cannot be assessed generally with a DMX. So it's, it's essentially, it's a cervical tool. Uh, to my knowledge, there's less than 200 of these units in the United States, but the providers that use them actually talk a lot about the fact that they're so much better or more significant than x-ray, and that's what I take issue with. X-ray is the number one primary imaging tool in America for ligament injuries. It is by far the best primary imaging tool in the country and if used properly it picks up 95 percent or more of what a dmx will be able to pick up so the only problem that i ever have had with dmx is the providers that use it run down x-ray and that to me is problematic because x-ray is cost effective has far lower dose of, of radiation you can get key information about ligament assessment right away with the dmx you don't have to wait it's not a secondary imaging tool it's a primary imaging tool and the majority of findings that you're going to find on a dmx are found on general digital x-rays so the only problem that i've ever had with it is when providers that have these units start to run down x-ray. I don't care if you use DMX. I don't, you know, DMX is what it is. Expand the science of DMX. I have no problem with it, but just don't run down x-ray because x-ray is highly cost effective and everyone in the country has access to it. So x-ray is the best tool in America for ligament assessments. And again, what you're going to find on the DMX, you're going to find in your general x-ray study. So smart injury doctors know that with basic ligament testing and basic x-ray and a really accurate intersegmental motion study, you're going to pick up the majority of severe ligament damage or the severe ligament injuries that are in with the patient today. So that's why I'm a huge proponent of x-ray. And it's not that I'm, I'm antagonistic or that I'm against DMX. I'm only against, again, when the providers try to run down x-ray and say that somehow x-ray is so deficient or to say that um, one of the things that comes up in DMX is that there's interseg there's, there's um, bad movement patterns that occur mid-movement. Um, which is some of the things that are, make it so that providers sell DMX units. Um, I've been a doctor who's been doing ligament testing for a lot of years, probably more years than anyone currently active in the market today and on more studies. And I'm going to tell you that I've never seen that. So I've never seen the phenomena of mid-motion translation patterns that don't show up on end range of motion which is one of the common things that DMX providers talk about. And we'll say openly that there's, you know, they've done hundreds or they've seen thousands of these things. And yet when I in the, in the market have asked for 10 or 20 examples of it, I, I never get any help finding it. So we've not seen it. I've ran a national spinal ligament testing company for a lot of years. I've never seen it in a DMX study ever. So it can't be common um, is what I'm saying. So what I am saying to you is that Doctors who do digital X digital images and dim digital imaging is by far a superior test in my experience. Now, here's again why. All digital x-rays are in a format called a DICOM format. It's a very easy format. Any radiologist in the world can read x-rays. DMX, on the other hand, is not in a DICOM format. It's not in that format at all. So it cannot go into any PAC system in the world and it's not easy for radiologists to read it. So radiologists are not used to reading digital motion x-rays. They're very used to reading 
x-rays. So x-ray is a far more accessible tool in my experience than DMX, which is why I don't like it when DMX providers run down x-ray. Now, the other thing is, since an x-ray is in a DICOM image, it's much more accurate to measure things on a DICOM image because you can calibrate to the DICOM image. A DMX is not in that format, so it makes it much more difficult. It's not impossible, but it makes it much more difficult to accurately measure things. So those are the reasons why I have difficulty with DMX. Now, the thing I want you to walk away with today, smart injury doctors know that you can use good x-ray studies to do 99% of all ligament injury assessments. And since they're not being standardly done in the country today, too many doctors, too few doctors, I should say, are able to do a standard spinal instability evaluation. That is done easily with good examination procedures and digital x-ray. Secondary imaging procedures that I like the best are MRI from there. I mean, if you're basically not picking it up on a standard x-ray, to me, the next most logical step is an MRI, unless you're a digital uh, DMX user that has a really good understanding and you've tested everything below with your x-ray, found that something was missing, and you think that there's something more that the DMX is going to produce, then I'm all for it. Then use the DMX. But don't tell somebody like me who's been doing x-ray studies for so many years that the x-ray is deficient and it's missing so much. Um, that's what I don't like about DMX, is when it starts to run down x-rays and the experts in the field that are using x-ray to make incredible, accurate ligament injury diagnosis and are getting incredible results with those conditions. I don't like it when those doctors get run down and that's, that was what I, that's the only thing I wanted to talk about on today's podcast was Standard ligament assessments, I've talked on other podcasts about the ICA best practices for x-ray. Standard digital x-ray is the number one primary imaging tool for ligament injury assessments. And I just don't like it when any other modality, MRI, DMX, CT, tries to run down x-ray when x-ray has so much data in it if the doctors will just mine it properly and then clinically correlate it. So I am a huge proponent of readily accessible, very inexpensive assessments, far less radiation. A DMX puts out a lot more radiation than a, a general x-ray series does. And so that's why I like x-ray so much and I wanted to explain a little bit of the position of x-ray versus DMX. I hope this was helpful for some of you doctors out there to understand a little bit more about the differences between x-ray and DMX. I hope to see you on the next program and thank you very much as always.